Doll Diva 101, and I'm here with my first YouTube video, a review of the American Girl doll, Caroline Abbott. I purchased Caroline in 2012, Christmas, I believe. She is my, let me think, I believe she's my 10th American Girl doll. I have 12. She is from 1812, so I purchased her in the year that was the 200th anniversary of that war. I've been really pleased with the quality of her. Um, let me move her back here so you can see. Um, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the outfit that she came in. And it's this really pink, uh, really pretty pink dress. Um, it's very similar to the style of dresses that Felicity and Elizabeth wore, if you're familiar with those American Girl characters. But it is slightly different in some ways. Um, it has it's a little bit shorter, first of all. Um, and it has the, you know, like the Empire Waist, I believe it's called. I'll let you see. Um, Caroline's dress has more embroidery detail than any of the dresses that I'm familiar with from Felicity and Elizabeth's collection. Um, and it has it all the way around. This dress is good because it's easy to put on and remove from your doll. It's got the elastic. I'm sorry, not elastic. It's got the Velcro, like is standard in most American Girl doll clothing. Um, it has these ribbons around the edges and the fabric. Um, there's the ribbon. And then, as you can see, there's another ribbon on the sleeve. The fabric is sewn in kind of folds so it's kind of roughly but not really because they don't they don't come up they're just they're like that in little layers um she's got plain shoes they're really they're pink like her dress um kind of a light corally color they're just plain they have a black bottom some of the American Girl shoes have a little bit of a heel right here, but Caroline's don't. They just say um, American Girl and then Made in China on the bottom. She has socks. They come all the way up to her knee. I'm sorry, I'm moving her around so much. I'm just trying to... Get the camera where you can see, and like I said, this is my very first YouTube video. She has these pantaloons. They come all the way down to her, kind of her mid-calf. Not quite her ankle, but almost. Um, I've had Caroline, like I said, for like a year and a half now. Her joints are perfectly fine to me. Um, and they were they were good when they arrived. She did arrive with her first book, Meet Caroline. I actually have the entire set. I've read all of them. I really enjoy them. I'm trying to, well, let me see. I'll just take her other shoe off here. I'll make that even. Um, the next thing I'll talk about with Miss Caroline is her face. She has. Let me see if I can get her from here. She has these, I believe they're described in the catalog and the website as being kind of blue-green or aquamarine, but they're actually kind of a mint green. You can see the blue in them really only if she wears the color blue. She does have hair that is a little bit difficult to take care of. I've done a a fair job with that. Um, it looks more golden in this video, and it's supposed to be golden, as listed in the catalog, but in real life, it's actually more of a platinum color. 
also Caroline has fair skin. Um, but really, to me, the older your doll gets, and um, the more you touch her, and if you don't clean with baking soda, I do clean mine. But if you don't clean her with baking soda, the more tan her skin will get if she's a light-skinned doll. However, my Caroline's doing okay on that for right now. Um, next thing is her eyebrows. She has the feathered ones, which are my favorite. She has the classic face mold. And she has kind of a peach color on her lips. And she has a peachy blush. Although it's a little bit hard to tell in this light where her blush is. But she does have a peachy blush right in here. She has the stiff dark black eyelashes that are pretty much standard on the new American Girl dolls. They had kind of a soft, lighter version in some of the older ones. Um, as with most American Girls, she has the strings in the back here. And let me flip her upside down. She has American Girl written on her neck instead of Pleasant Company, which is what was written there formerly. So guys, I really enjoyed Caroline. I would recommend her particularly for older collectors. Um, her hair is a little bit difficult to care for if you have a young one. Her books are fantastic. I highly recommend them. Um, thank you for watching my video. Like I said, this was my first one. Please comment with any tips you have for me. Um, comment, subscribe, like, and thank you again very much for watching. Goodbye.